Hello, my name is Tim Hickey, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own virtual world that contains a Rube Goldberg machine. And I assume that you've already completed the Jenga tutorial so that you're comfortable with starting up Blender, changing your view, moving objects around by translation. And I also assume that you're on this, you've gotten to this page, and that you have downloaded this virtual world.zip file and unzipped it and put it on your desktop, where I have it over here on my desktop. So uh, let's get started. This will be in several parts. The first part, I'll show you how to open the virtual world and um, line up a few dominoes and create a very small Rube Goldberg machine, then save that file. And uh, the second version will go and extend it and make it a little bit more interesting and make a movie of it. Okay, so let's start. Double click on the virtual world folder, and this contains uh, world.blend, which is where the world will be. It also contains Blender files for the ball, the domino, and the floor. And we'll see more about that in one of the later video videos, why that's interesting to break it up that way and, um, and how you do it. Okay, so let's double click on the world.blend, and this should <clears throat> open up our world. Here we go. Uh, we've got a desert skybox that gives the environment. We have a floor, a bouncy floor, a red bouncy ball, and one domino um, in the 3D window. If we hit the P for play, the ball falls, hits the domino, which falls down, and the ball bounces off and falls off the floor. Hit escape, and we're back in the uh, Blender user interface. Okay, let's, uh, down here is the text area, and over here is the outliner that shows all of the objects in our scene. Um, if we uh, left click uh, on, say, the domino, you see the domino gets selected, the floor is selected, the skybox is selected, um, I'm selecting the ball. There are also two lamps I can select, and there's a camera box, which is what we're looking at, looking through right now. We'll get into that later. So uh, let's make this a more interesting. Click on the domino. And let's look from the front. Um, OK, it's kind of far away. So what we should do is click on View and go to View Selected. And it will zoom in just on the object that you selected. Also, uh, we're really interested. We're not interested in the text area or the outliner for right now. So put the mouse in the 3D area, 3D window, and hit shift space. That that makes that window take up the whole screen. Shift space reverses it. It's like a toggle. Okay, you can now use the middle mouse wheel to scroll out. So we're scrolling out a little bit. And um, notice that up here in the upper left corner it says we're in ortho mode, orthographic mode, which is like blueprint mode. Um, if you go back here with the view, you can go into perspective mode which is more interesting, but it's actually harder to move things around. If you go toggle back into orthographic mode, this is more like a blueprint, and so it makes it easy to uh, line things up and move them around. Okay, let's duplicate this domino several times and make several copies. So it's pretty easy. You do Shift-D, and then just move the mouse. And Shift-D makes a copy, and moving the mouse moves that copy. Um, I like to move it in just one direction, straight, so if you hit G for grab and X, meaning along the X axis, this moves it directly along that X direction. Also, if you hit the control key, it'll move it only uh, in uh, increments of one unit. So here it's one unit away, two units away, three units away, so on. Let's move it one unit away, and then when you're satisfied with uh, your positioning, you left click the mouse and that freezes it there. Okay, you don't have to do all that. If you want, you can just go Shift D to duplicate and then pull the mouse, you know, use the mouse to move it. You're not dragging, just moving the mouse. And then left click if that's where you want it. So let's do that Shift D, move it, left click. Shift D, move it, left click. And Shift D, move it, left click. Okay, okay let's see how this looks. So I hit P for play. Um, the ball falls, it hits the dominoes, which all fall down. Excellent. And now let's uh, go back to the uh, camera view. 
and hit P for play. Great, this is the beginning of our Rube Goldberg machine. And you see the red ball falls off the platform and all the dominoes fall down. Great. So now let's save it. Go up here to the File menu, click on File, go to Save. And this will save it back in the world.blend file. And we've made our first Rube Goldberg machine. Um, in the next video, we'll show how to fly this camera through the scene. And um, if you're screen recording, you'll then have made a movie of the Rube Goldberg machine. We'll also make it more interesting by duplicating the ball and duplicating the floor. But for now, you should uh, go back and try to do this yourself, um, following the instructions and stopping the video when you need to and replaying the sections that don't seem clear. Okay, have fun.